Good morning guys from a cold snowy Scotland. It is 21st of January. Um, I have just been triggered into a short position on the FTSE 100 five minute time frame. So as always with the live trade, I will talk you through trade analysis. I'll try and explain to you what I'm looking at whilst I'm in the trade, what I'm aiming for. If I change my mind, if I look to come out early, I'll try and kind of give you the reasoning behind doing what it is that I am doing. So Rejection candle at 11.05. Um, I didn't get triggered in for 10 minutes, but this one has just triggered me in at 11.20. Uh, I'm looking for a retest, hopefully, of this zone down here, which starts at around about 6.968. So coming into today on the FTSE, um, and really last week, what I was looking at was how we were starting to make a strong bullish press higher, but, uh, which chart, this chart, Strong bullish press higher. Um, you can see the Friday candle, very strong bullish um, candle. We moved up around about 150 points, which is enormous for the FTSE. Now, as we pressed up, we're pressing up into what is potentially a fairly significant level of resistance. So we've tested we tested, and these are significant bounces, so really strong rejection, really strong bounce. We broke down, we came back up, we retested as resistance, resistance, and we are up there testing once again. Um, so, so I was looking at when I came into the start of the day, and I was looking at it potentially lining up with this 7002 zone. Now, 7002 is also the big round number 7000. Um, so a couple of confluences for potential sellers hanging around at that area. After such a strong move up, also potentially a good area for profit taking from the buyers. Added to that, we had one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, and you could call this one big rejection. We'll call this six. Six rejections uh, coming into the trading day. So after the open, we've already rejected once, we've pressed back up, but we've just kind of held at this zone one, two, three times. So as soon as I seen that MA200 sitting in there, as soon as we started to get the rejection, it was giving me the confidence that potentially, even if we are going to see the buyers coming in, um, we would likely see some sort of bearish retrace before that happened. So potentially down into this zone underneath, really profit targets uh, would be into this rectangle right here. If we see the market crashing down and testing into those levels, I'll be more than happy to just lock in profits um, and call it a day. But it depends how we play out. We are holding at this zone. We're kind of just testing at the MA200, which is sitting right there. I'm hoping that this was the signal that potentially the market is ready to break down from that moving average. And if it is, hopefully we'll see the move down into the zone underneath. Um, quite a few different things lining up with the trade. That's really what I'm looking for for my entries, number of uh, confluences or reasons, whatever you want to call it. And I'm basically just sort of running through, adding them up on my fingers because I can't count very high. And then when I see, you know, lots of confluences, lots of good reasons for the sellers to step in, in this case, then I'm happy to start risking um, my capital because it gives me it gives me the belief that there's a good chance that it's going to hit the profit target. And for me, um, to get into a trade, I need to be very confident in my own analysis because that's what allows me to then be okay when it's a loss. Because when it's a loss, I just sort of say, okay, there was a lot of good reasons for it. This one just didn't work out. If I get into a trade and I'm kind of like, oh, I don't know about this one, then if it's a loss, I kind of get annoyed at myself. And I say, you should have just held out. You should have just waited. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is get rid of a couple of these lines. I'm not really looking at anything at present. I'm just waiting to see if the market is going to break down. Um, I won't come out early until we see some sort of hopefully stronger bearish test down at these levels. Um, if it does just start to rally up, my stop is there. I will get taken out for a loss. So what I'll do is I will pause the video, turn it back on if we start to move one way or the other, hopefully to the downside. Um, and I'll talk you through what I'm looking at if I'm making any trade management decisions, if I'm bringing my stop to break even, or whatever it may be. Okay, I'm still in the trade. Um, not too much has happened as yet. We have had the market breaking down. 
We've then had it pulling back to retest at that MA200 area. If we also look at the entry points where we had one, two, and three tests before we broke down, you could also call this a pullback to retest at the structure level. So retesting the structure, retesting the MA200. Now the market has been relatively slow. Um, it's quite low volatility today. We're now at almost one o'clock. We have Theresa May announcing whatever her plan B is for Brexit later on in the day. And the market is just a little bit hesitant, sort of waiting until we get that out of the way, I'm presuming. Um, but we have started to break down once again. Um, so looking for really, without too much of a pullback now, the move down into uh, this zone underneath. Because we've now had the breakdown, we've had the retest, we've seen the bears stepping in. So now if we start to see another retest, another pullback, for me the trade starts to lose a little bit um, of the strength of the analysis that I'm using for this bearish movement. So looking for the move down into this area down here uh, that we've highlighted, if we can get that move down, I will. Uh, look to close out the trade and take the profits. Okay, so I have now closed out the trade, around about uh, 400 pounds of profit. We've came down, we started hesitating at the close price from Friday. Um, so yeah, more than happy to lock in the profits. As I've mentioned, it's very low volatility, uh, very small movements today. So for me, as it started to come in and test um, at this level, showed a little bit of support, more than happy to just take the profits and call it a day. Come back tomorrow when we find out whatever Theresa May has come up with for this Brexit plan and no doubt see the markets going a little bit crazy. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful. As always, guys, uh, my analysis was, first of all, looking at that sloping resistance level and adding in what the market is showing me intraday, um, looking at what it was doing during the actual trading day after ATM, um, allowing the pullback to test at the MA200, and then getting that nice bearish movement down. So as always, I um, hope you're all having a great trading week. I'm James Orr, and thank you.